Kristen Moore and I'm a landscape painter and I paint mainly the Western US, specifically Texas and California. Having a studio space is like a dream. Like I haven't had one before this besides being in grad school, so it's been really nice. Having a dedicated work and studio space makes me feel more established and professional as an artist. It separates my work into a space that it can grow and resonate and it really kind of has, it's more purposeful, which is really nice. And coming in here, it's, this is where my art gets to live, where it gets to hang out before it goes out into the world. So it's really nice seeing it just here with these white walls and cement floors and, you know, not having a kitchen sink or a dining table, you know, <laughs> it's not at home. It's, it's, a, it's an art studio space and it has a purpose and that purposefulness is really nice. Having my work on display has been good for me. It's been good to talk about my process a little bit more with the other artists in the cohort, and it's been nice to kind of peek behind the curtain, I guess, to see not only how I do things, I can share that with other people, but also how they make their work. And it's been this safe kind of bubble for all of us to do that in the same area. So it's, it's a very rare situation that you really only get in school when you're with a bunch of other artists. So having that in the real world where it is pretty open, you get to like open up your studio space and you know, kind of open up those lines of communication and creativity and all that jazz. <laughs> the programming here has been, it's been amazing. There's something for everyone and there's also this, there's like a, there's no fear with it. So basically you get to try things that are new that you've never tried before and also Specifically, the business side of the programming has been really, really helpful. It's like gold, <laughs> especially as an artist. A lot of us come out of art school and don't have, you know, any lawyer contacts or accountant contacts or just knowing the basics of filing our taxes and having those programs where we're able to just, you know, book a 30 minute session with a lawyer for free. Like, that's amazing. That's awesome. And providing that for artists and not only just, you know, cohort artists, but the entire community. It's invaluable, like it's amazing. It can even go to like, you know, building artist websites or overlooking contracts, like stuff that they don't teach you in art school. I feel like Cedars Union like adds on to that. It's like the icing on the cake of being an artist. It's the business core, you know, values that you really need to succeed as an artist. And you guys do that here and that's awesome. It's been really comforting to be able to take some big career steps and big changes with this community around me because sometimes when questions happen or, you know, an email pops up or a studio visit happens, I can, you know, decompress with whoever's here or, you know, reach out to anyone in the, in the cohort or anyone that, you know, works at Cedars Union if I have questions. The availability has always been nice and I think with those big career decisions, a lot of the times artists feel alone and it's nice to have that community of either artists that have gone through it or artists that want to learn from the situations that I'm going through or that they're going through. It's just this very fluid environment where it's safe to go through certain career transitions or even just creative transitions. So it's, um, it's very comforting and I'm, I'm grateful for it and I'm going to miss it. <laughs>